Hello everyone, today we're going to talk books. I have a kind of a special relationship with books. I Actually most of my friends and family make fun of me because every time I get interested into a, any topic I go out and buy a bunch of books and then I proceed to uh, bother all of them and pestering them with all the information that I just learned. But since we're talking about music books, I hope you'll indulge me today. I, I never had a guitar teacher and so my only, well, you know, besides concerts and uh, speaking to without musicians, the only source of information I had was books. And when I got to university, by the way, I, I'm a psychologist, uh, but as you can imagine, I, start, I spent a lot more time studying music than I did uh, psychology. But when I was there, the university library was such a great place. It had uh, hundreds of uh, books about you know classical music and composers and jazz, and even some stuff on rock music and flamenco and all kinds of different stuff. And so, you know, you could walk in there without knowing something and then walk out with just a concentrated uh, encyclopedia on that subject and you could just read it and uh, I mean to me the, the whole concept of books was amazing and I'm still kind of um, fascinated by them and I buy them compulsively. The, the place where I buy my books, well if, you, if, you're, if you're in the States, when I, when I lived in the States I would just go to bookstores or music, or music stores but now in Europe, so if you're there, you, you'll have no problem finding these. But now that I live in Europe, I'm, um, I usually buy from a place called bookdepository.com. I have a link in the description. And uh, they ship for free worldwide. So if you're in Europe or you know, uh, Asia or wherever you are, you can find uh, really great deals there. I, I post the link. Okay, so let's get right into it. One of the books that I find, well, when I st started out at least, was very interesting was Harmony and Theory. This is by Musicians Institute Press. I'm not a big fan of their books usually, although they're fine. I just they just don't uh, don't just quite click with them. But this is a great book by Keith Wyatt about harmony and theory. It's great for beginners and for intermediate students. If you're really advanced on theory, this might be a bit too easy. But you know, then you have to look for other stuff. Fortunately, I have quite a few weird things in here. Okay, so we'll talk about it later. Okay, harmony and theory, great book, especially if you are not quite sure about some stuff of music theory, then you can buy this and it will clarify for you. Okay, uh, oh great, this is a great one because uh, once you know the theory, then you might want to write it down. Uh, tablature actually is not as accurate as we might like to think because it's easy, but it's not as accurate. So this will teach you how to write music. This is called Music Notation by Berkeley Press. They have some great books. Some of them are really uh, a bit hard. So if you're a beginner, they're not the best option but this is great even for beginners it will teach you all the rules and how to write music the right way you know if your stem goes up stem goes down and how to put your uh, measure bars and how to write um, you know time signatures and all this stuff really great this came in very useful for me for me when I was um, when I learned how to compose music without the guitar as your ear progresses you know as your ear gets better then you can write music and compose actually without an instrument and so I wouldn't forget stuff I learned how to write it so now I can have an idea and just write it down quickly on a piece of paper with five lines on it and uh, then I come back home and I know I wrote it in a consistent way that I if I write it if I read it I know what I wrote all right which sometimes doesn't even happen with my normal handwriting so this was great for me music notation um, all right, so another one is um, for compu composing music. There's a lot of books, I have quite a few of them, and they're all very good. This one is special in a way because it's great for beginners. And at the same time, it's great for advanced players because it's not about the guitar, it's about composing music. Not once in the whole book you'll hear about guitar. But you won't hear either about piano or anything, it's about music. It starts with very simple exercises and rules, and it progresses through you know very interesting concept rhythm um, counterpoint all kinds of great stuff all right so this is composing music by William Rousseau great book and if we learn how to compose and how to write we might want to study chords in more depth since that's where all, most compositions come from this is the Bible of guitar chords for most musicians a very old book by Ted Green Ted Green unfortunately died uh, too young and he was working on more books. I have all the ones that he wrote, but I know he had at least two more that he was working on. Um, this is a chord chemistry. is a guitar book, uh, chord book, sorry. And it's if you look at it like this, it seems intimidating, but it's actually quite accessible to beginners. So check this out. This is a very important book. Most guitar players will tell you this is their favorite chord book ever. And this is just a companion to it. It's called Modern Chord Progressions, always by Ted Green. 
and uh, it's great because it kind of applies the concepts from this book into a more um, you know, musical way. This is, by the way, most of these books center around uh, jazz and classical music, but you can apply these concepts to any kind of music, as you can probably hear by my music, I'm not really a jazz player, but I get a lot of benefit from this stuff. Okay, now this one really quick. This is Thesaurus of Scales and Melodic Patterns. If you look at it, it's kind of self-explanatory. There's not a single word in this book. I think I read about this when I was a kid. Steve Vai said it was such a great book. And But, you know, Anyway, if you want to check this out, buy it, otherwise don't. It's, uh, I won't get into a description of it. Just think of it's just a bunch of patterns. So it's just a, you can play this note, this note, this note, and this note, and see how it sounds. And you can play this one, this one, this one, this one, and one more. And it goes on and on. Uh, it's uh, 250 pages of notes. Okay? So I think it's very interesting, but this might be overkill for some of you. All right? So think about it first. And then we have this one, maybe my favorite book ever. It's called Advancing Guitarist by Mick Goodrick. It's a great book. It's, it's, uh, it's all about connecting you with the guitar. So it teaches you all kinds of weird stuff, like how to play every single chord and, 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 and uh, scale on a single string, then on two strings, then on two strings that are farther away, then how to perform with just one chord, two chords. It's a great book, but it's hard work. If you are dedicated, this is the book you want to get. You know, advancing guitarist. And then one good one that I bought when a long time ago was is called Orchestration by Cecil Forsyth. And I had this idea of writing music for orchestra, which I still kind of entertain it today. And maybe I'll, I'll do it one day. The great thing with this book is that it shows you a brief description of every single instrument that you'll ever find in an orchestra. But the great thing is that it gives you examples for each one of them. Examples from classical musicians, and you have um, all the standard ones. Look, there's uh, uh, Wagner, there's uh, Beethoven, Mozart, Tchaikovsky. All right, so you, I actually used to go through all these lines of music and try to perform them, uh, side read them. It's great because the keys are different depending on the instruments, and it's very interesting. Then at least when you listen to music, you will know and recognize all the instruments. So this is just a general education, if you will. And you can buy it, I think you can still find it anywhere. Okay, orchestration, great. And let's finish with this one. This is the only book that is strictly based in, on rock and heavy metal music. It's called Metodo per Guitarra Heavy Metal the, uh, from, uh, by Giacomo Castellano. He's an Italian guitar player. And this book I bought when I was a kid, I was so shocked by the stuff you could do with an electric guitar that I actually listened to these tapes just as you, you, know, you would listen to music, to, our, to an album. I used to just listen to them and go like, wow, well, you know, I can't believe you can do this on a guitar. And it goes through all the basic techniques of guitar. It goes through bending, legato, uh, alternate picking, sweep picking, all kinds of uh, tapping, all kinds of guitar techniques. And it just exercises, but it's great for your technique. If you want one book on guitar technique, I don't think I ever found one better than this. The only problem is I don't know if you'll find it, you know, depending where you live. But I'm sure on the internet you can find PDFs and stuff. Of course, just, you know, please buy it, don't download it. I mean, you know, it's a great book, so we should support the authors. All right, so I hope you found this uh, interesting. I, I have a whole lot more books, so if you, if you are really enjoying this, I can do another video about this. Okay, but anyway, I hope I've inspired you to go out and look for some books, maybe these, or maybe find your own favorite. Okay, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>